water. Okay. I'm Allie Long, and this is my story. My grandfather's name was George Moore. He was the most selfless, kindest soul that I've ever met. In 96, the Olympics were in Georgia, and he was there, and he basically paid for the whole trip for me and my mom just to watch the US Women's National Team. And I just remember being so excited about the game. Right away, I knew, like, that's what I wanted to be. That's what I wanted to do. I already loved the game so much, but just seeing them in person, live, like, it just made it so real to me. And throughout my life, I would come home from school and there'd be like a couple articles on my kitchen counter that he just left for me to read or to see. Then a couple weeks later, there'd be a video on UNC Dynasty and Anson Dorns. There's just so many things that he kind of introduced me to that I was able to achieve. At the end of my NWSL season, I actually had a partially torn PCL and I wasn't able to play in qualifiers. So I came home early and I knew in the summer that my grandfather was sick. He had pneumonia, but I didn't think that that was gonna be like, you hear pneumonia and you're like, okay, like, yeah, you're sick, you'll be fine. But I guess at an older age, it's way more serious than I assumed. So I went to go and see him and it worked out that I was able to pretty much spend the whole day with him. And before I left, I gave him a hug and he said he loved me and I said I loved him too. The next morning or I wake up and my mom called me and said that he passed away in his sleep. As much as the injury was such a bummer and missing qualification was such a bummer, it was just so nice to have that day with him. And I just believe that he like waited for me uh, to say bye. I took it upon myself to speak at his funeral. And so I remember calling my mom and I'm like, did he like love soccer so much? Or like, why did he spend so much time? And she was like, yeah, he liked soccer, but it was like to inspire you. And it kind of just like hit me that throughout my entire life, he just planted these seeds and inspiration and motivation into my life without forcing it, without saying what he was doing. He just did it. I just thought he like loved soccer and we shared that passion together, but to know that he did that like for me is just so powerful because, you know, I just look at my whole path. I see him in every step of that. I just remember him at my soccer games wearing this hat and as I am coming back from injury and working so hard just to make this roster and, and be the best player that I possibly can be, I had this hat and I just like had it on my dresser like, and it would kind of just motivate me um, and just like remind me that all my hard work will be worth it. I know that when I step on the field on the world stage in France, he'll be there with me.